Apparently this is the Rodeo Drive of London, which might even be more expensive than Rodeo Drive. So we're gonna shop at Gucci and get some clothes. Whoa, this is sick. This is actually my first view of real London. Heck of people out here. Buses. Are you riding? Say you never ever leave. Hey guys, my name is Connor. I want to give you a little background on this video. I flew to London for a few days to work with a Chinese app that teaches people English. I was the hired English speaker and basically I had to go around the city, experience it for the very first time and teach people English along the way. Being from Los Angeles, I had never been to London before so this is a genuine reaction. I love the city. It's a great place. I definitely have to go back. For the episodes on the app, I had to wear different outfits. I don't carry a lot of clothes when I travel around the world. I usually carry maybe one or two. So I had to go shopping in London, Piccadilly Circus, all those things. You're going to see that. I am currently traveling around the world. If you want to follow me live, you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Besides that, enjoy the video and if you get a chance to see London for yourself, definitely do it. Dope place. Cool people. Let's go, boy! Alright guys, what's up? I met the people that I am here to meet, Crystal and Michelle, and we are now going to get myself a travel car. We are going to go to one of the main shopping centers and they're going to get me fitted. See you there. I got 35 pounds on here and now I can travel around the whole city, buses and trains. Let's do it. Boom, get in there. Woo! All right, we're back on the train. Round two. Take a diddly circus. Where are we gonna go? What store? Yeah. Alright, this is good. Whenever I go shopping and people know what they're doing, it's better because I'm I don't usually shop. Alright, this place is packed, absolutely. Look at this. London subways, just like New York. Apparently this is the Rodeo Drive of London, which might even be more expensive than Rodeo Drive. It's, whoa, this is sick! This is actually my first view of real London. Heck of people out here. Buses. See these cabs? Look at this! I'm not used to seeing stuff like that. This is great, dude. We're in there. Apparently, Fortnum and Mason is the Queen's favorite place to get tea. And I'm here. And that's a big deal if you're in London, because the Queen is here. H&M? Is that where we're going? We're going to H&M. So we're going to get fitted in H&M. Look at these sleek Mercedes Benz, but they still got these taxis. I love these taxis. <laughs> it says, dude, it literally says the London Taxi Company on the front. That's why, they're all the same. This is cool, man. It's like Paris, but more busier, like New York, you know what I'm saying? Whoa. Look at this street. All right, so Michelle is gonna be my stylist today. We are in Zara. Probably gonna be my first, no, it's gonna be like one of my first times actually shopping. Besides getting Lederhosen in Germany. How do you guys do this? You just pick one that looks good? I got like three pairs of pants and two shirts. So uh, I think we're gonna go to Mango now and get some other stuff. But we're in the crowds now. It is crowded out here in the London streets. And this city reminds me, Paris, a little bit of New York, but it's different. I've only been here for an hour, so I can't really compare yet. But we're on the road, we're gonna keep going. Round two H&M, look at all this. Got that master, got that Hawaii, board shorts. All right, they got all the clothes, look at that. We picked four out of 400. <laughs> this is the most clothes I've ever tried out in one city. Legitimately, look at those. That's crazy, you gotta make sure I get my phone, but look at all these hangers. You're not really allowed to film in these places, so. I'm getting down. This is the longest I've ever shopped. I feel what people who like to shop feel. And I am not a huge fan. I would rather be out in the city, but it's okay. I love all these experiences. We need two more shirts. Two more shirts, just two more shirts. Next stop, we gotta get some white shoes. We had no luck over there, so we're going for lager. We got Converse, white ones. Now we're done, what's next? Dinner? Yeah. Shopping done? 
And that's all we did day one, and now we're gonna eat food. This is your average day. Subway traffic, tube traffic, or whatever they call it. Uh, we're waiting here because the cameramen have just flown into the airport. Now they're gonna get them an Uber, and then we're all gonna go out to eat, and we think we're gonna go to Chinatown. from all over the world. We got Mandip and Kartik. Yeah. And Mandip is from Spain, Kartik is from India, and we all met here in the middle of the subway station in London, which is crazy. And he was telling me he has a Royal Enfield, that's my dream, I'm gonna buy a Royal Enfield. My other camera cut out right when I was introducing those guys. Guy from India, guy from Spain. I'm here in London and I met people from Spain, Portugal, Brazil, China, obviously England, uh, Germany, and America all in one day. Crazy, that's the thing, that's why I like traveling, that's why I like making these videos because like, through videos, the internet, you can reach so many different people and like that's the whole goal, man. I wanna see everything, I wanna meet everybody, I wanna eat every single food, so if you like this, Come along for the ride, my friends. Chinese food next. All right, behind me is the main street. I don't even know which one it is, but there's lots of people gathering, and we're gonna turn down this little alleyway right here. They're playing music and stuff, and apparently this is where Chinatown is. All is good, I follow you guys. Oh, look at that, I see the lanterns. The Chinese lanterns, we're close. Chinatown and it's pretty cool in most of the major cities in the world like Los Angeles New York even London You got places like this Chinatown and you can find authentic Chinese food one of my favorite places in LA actually called Yang Chow's Chinese food in Chinatown um, And I'm gonna let the girls decide because they are actually from China They know exactly what they want to eat and I love Chinese food. I love it Wait, we're looking at the menu. Uh, the most interesting thing that I've seen so far, crispy, it's crispy duck with pancakes. Actually sounds good, because last time I was in Beijing, I ate duck. We got the professional chef here. Yeah. Brought us a duck. Yeah. And what should I try first, duck? You know, duck skin. Duck skin. duck skin. Yes, with the sugar. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Dumplings, seafood soup, and look at this. Michelin. Downstairs, let's go. There we go. Back table, y'all. An amazing Chinese dinner. The entire crew here is here. The entire crew, or almost the entire crew of the tomato English team is here. There are, it's me and four other Chinese ladies. And we're having a great time. It's unbelievable. This is like my dream, man. Eating with people from different countries in a different country and just enjoying things. So we're gonna walk out of here, go back to the hotel. I'm gonna learn some, sorry. I'm gonna learn some Chinese while I'm teaching them English. And many people around China English. Dope. This is honestly legit. I love London. New York and Paris combined so far. Subway next. Hey, get him! Get him! <laughs> Mind the doors. Mind the gap. Alright, 
we just got done with the briefing for tomorrow because I'm filming episodes and I have to remember some native sentences because I'm going to be teaching some non-native English speakers how to speak English as we walk around the city of London. So thank you for watching this episode. It is midnight. I'm going to go get a quick lift in. I might edit this video and then we get up at 10 tomorrow morning and we're going to start it all over again. London day two. I am going to go to sleep. Good knock, schlaf good. Unfortunately, the video is now over, but if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit subscribe because I'm going to be traveling all over the world. Also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, more importantly, because I will be updating you exactly where I am in the world live. That story function, you know about that. Be sure to check out my two other channels where I talk about personal things. Thank you guys for the support. You have honestly allowed me to live my dream, traveling the world and sharing experiences everywhere I go. Thanks, guys. Peace, y'all. See you next video. Boom, baby, let's gizzo.